What's up guys, this is Cory. Welcome to CNA Films and Animation. Today is Sunday, and as I said in yesterday's review, I'm swapping review dates just for this week. And uh, so la yesterday I reviewed a bad movie, today I'm doing a Netflix movie, and that is of Doomsday Book. Doomsday Book came out in 2012, and it's a South Korean film about three different stories, uh, all of, two, uh, at least two of which have to do with the apocalypse in some way, shape, and form. This is kind of a dramatic comedy, in a sense. It's not really a horror film, but it's not really a sci-fi either. I mean, there's elements of all of it together, but it's, it's more of like a dramatic comedy, I guess. Um, so the, the film follows three stories. The first story is In a Brave New World, and it follows this guy. He goes on a date with this girl. His parents are away, and you know, before he goes on this date with the girl, he throws away this uh, food, and uh, there's an infected apple in the food, which causes... You know, after a huge cycle of events, pretty much the apple gets ground up, fed to cattle, and the, the cattle get infected with this virus, and they, the farmers sell the meat, and the meat gets sent to the consumers, and a customer, customer who turns out to be the guy who sent the, uh, who threw away the apple, eats the bad meat and turns into a zombie and thus uh, creating kind of a, a zombie apocalypse in a sense. Um, he and pretty much everyone in, in uh, Seoul um, become zombies, more or less. And, you know, it's it's kind of a dark comedy in a, in a way, but at the same time it's it's more of the dramatic story of the, of the bunch. Um, you know, it, it was relatively interesting. Um, it was kind of neat to see how the zombie apocalypse started from an infected apple. And, you know, it, it was interesting. Um, not great by any means, but, you know, uh, not bad for a short film. In the second film, The Heavenly Creature, this was about a robot who believes it is Buddha. And... You know, he, he prays with monks, and uh, the organization that, the, that built this robot want to destroy him uh, because he is uh, claiming to be something that he, they believe he isn't. And, you know, this, this short film was relatively interesting. Uh, you know, it was, again, it wasn't great. It was a little hard to get into at times, but, you know, I, I did think that the design on the robot was neat, as was um, the, just the, kind of the overall story. You know, I, I relatively enjoyed it. And the third story was, Happy Birthday. This short film was definitely on the weird side. It's kind of a twisted comedy, in a sense. Um, pretty much this little girl, she for some reason, she throws out her dad's eight ball for billiards, throws it out the window, and it disappears. And so she orders a new magic eight, not a magic eight ball, but she orders a new eight ball for his pool set, and, turn and then soon after, uh, a foreign object is pummeling toward Earth, and they only have, like, hours to live before it hits Earth. And so they, uh, they hide in an underground bunker, and if you, if you don't want to find out the twist for this story, um, go ahead and mute it, because I'm going to tell you what happens at the end of it. Uh, so after you see the uh, word spoilers disappear, then I'm done talking about the spoilers. But, uh, yeah, so here we go. So, they find out that the thing pummeling toward Earth is the eight, is an eight ball, uh, for billiards, and it is, uh, massive. It's believed that aliens 
have sent this. You know, the little girl ordered it from an alien website, and it's coming toward Earth, and pretty much it hits Earth, destroys everything, and ten years later they emerge from underground, only to find a alien like sub, you know, alien being or a godlike figure, uh, and you know the little girl she's. 10 years older now, she's kind of in shock that, you know, there's this being out there, and, you know, when they disappear, they, her family and her go out and explore the new world, which is, uh, contains a huge, massive eight ball on the ground. And that pretty much covers it for spoilers. Um, so what did I think about this film? Well, this film was interesting. It was definitely different. I can't say I've seen some of the imagery that was in this film before, but I don't think it actually worked out all that well. Um, it's an anthology film, and it contained three stories, as I said, and each story really didn't connect in any way. Um, two of them connected in an apocalyptic kind of way, but you know, the, the third story, which was the one with the robot, really had nothing to do with an apocalypse. It just uh, was just kind of there. Um, again, it was neat. It makes a good uh, DVD box cover, but it just didn't have anything to do with anything, thematically or otherwise, at least from what I could see. Um, but that doesn't make this a bad film. It's just it was a little on the odd side. Um, I didn't really love this film, but I didn't hate it either. It's just kind of, you know, I'm, I'm glad I saw it. It was interesting, but it's nothing that I would say, you know, oh, you have to go out and see this. Um, you know, if you got two hours to kill and you're wanting something a little different, you know, I, I recommend it. It's not a bad film. It's just a little on the, like I said, like I've been saying, it's, it's a little on the weird side. But, uh, yeah, um, overall, I think I'll give Doomsday Book a 6.3 out of 10. Uh, nothing special, but nothing uh, terrible either. Uh, so tell me, guys, have you seen Doomsday Book? If you have, what would you think of it? Did you like it? Did you dislike it? Uh, what would you think of some of the thematic stuff throughout? What would you think of the stories? Um, did you think some worked, some didn't? You know, comment below, let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Uh, if you guys like this video, be sure to like, favorite, subscribe. Be sure to check out our other videos. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And as always, I'm Corey, and I will see you guys in the next one.